Hey guys, I'm Critico and this is Warhammer 40k Inquisitor Martyr. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Travel to the next location. There we go, though. Yeah, we are actually a little bit working with the Eldar. Can you believe it? Against the Tyranid my wife. Uh, what? Wife mind? No, hive mind. My lord. Well, that is not as bad as my, uh, yeah, my, 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 my slip of the tongue, uh, you know, from cat to kids. Yeah, that was a bad thing, though, in the last episode, right? It was funny. Um, 53, wait a minute. Ah, story mode is just easy mode. All right. Uh, so Karadok broke through the Tyranid ranks, and the biological horrors were ultimately defeated by the loss of the synapse creature. Uh, without that intelligent organism, the remaining Tyranids reverted to a feral instinctive state, which has given me a window of opportunity to find the Aldari shrine. All right, time is of the essence here. So... Actually, you could think that that, that that creature, the synapse creature, is actually like a parasite. And it uses the Tyranids to protect itself, to survive. That's devious though, huh? That is devious, damn. Yeah, sure, spawn me right on the acid. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. Inquisitor, may I remind you that you have only gained temporary respite by eliminating the Synapse creature. The Tyranids are still unorganized, but soon another organism will replace the original Synapse creature. I have no time to lose them. I must locate that Algare shrine immediately. Alright, let's go, boys! Whoppa! This is fun, right? This is fun. Just to let them speak, right, you know, and take care of everything around here. This is really, really interesting to do it in this way. I should do it more often, especially if I was a little bit quicker though, right? But uh, we are quick enough to be honest right now. All right, there we go. And will they... Oh, do you see that? Yeah, on the map right here. Mm, there we go. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, big boy. Oh, interesting. Did you see that? Like a technological shield was pop around, popping around there. Very curious, though, to see that. All right, let's move on. Oh, papa, big boys. Dodge and leave. Yep. All right. Ba -ba 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 -ba. We will definitely read that, of course. Oh, yeah. It's kind of funny, right? In some missions, the sound is so extremely soft. And in other missions, you... I feel my eardrums a little bit bleeding, right, you know? So, yeah, we gotta be kidding here. Of a, here uh, be, we have to go and be careful here. What is up with my speech, man? All right, anyways, right over here, right? Interesting statues that they have still around here. It's kind of sad, right, at the same time. Uh, Epsilon uh, 2, 3, Alasius. All right, translated protocol, blah, blah, blah. The spirit stones of the ancients may protect us against she who first, but... D are useless in this nightmare. My lover glimpses into the flow of time, uh, and there is only death. The monkey celebrating a hollow victory. Once the body arrives, their planets will burn and all will be devoured by the great maw. Severing the tendril granted us some time. If the cold general answers us, there may be hope. The body, huh? Are you talking about, you know, the... Alpha Pariah? I mean, that would be bad news, right? You know, if she will cause her world to burn, if that dream is actually accurate. Conclusion Alpha. The description uh, menom of a mnemonic imprints lacks cohesion and logic, but correlates with the theory of the Arch Fifty Sector Roderick Theta X, the sighted Magos. Uh, may he be, uh, may he blessed by the Omnisires, uh, the Seminole Bliss, was the greatest expert in Tyranid organisms. Bio scanners indicate the approach of psi active organisms, probably inbound from the adjacent zone. So it has been just a lull. I'd better get ready for them then. Yeah. In the Caligari sector, he theorizes that we were facing only probing in, uh, incursions from the operations and the main forces of the High Fleet Garm had yet to arrive. This theorem uh, would also explain the unusual lingering behavior of the surviving Tyranid organisms. Cool. 
new clue yeah and of these clues man we have to make our own conclusion which is awesome you are closing in on a shrine the architectural components of the nearby ruins are consistent with our records on spiritual aldari structures i'm convinced that it has become the lair of something much more materialistic that's more materialistic huh oh yeah let's go boys Let's collect a, you know, a fan club over here. Let's move on. Oh my. The last act in this grand tragedy will soon unfold, human. Are you willing to take the stage? I must warn you that to manipulate an Inquisitor is not the brightest idea, Eldar. Always so furious. So short-sighted. I am not your weak-willed subordinate. Insolence! You have clearly betrayed me! This stone once absorbed the soul of a seer, the greatest pathfinder in the garden of ever-changing roads. I need it. We need it to walk the seventh path. This is the first curio of fate I need. Alright, I have always believed that the ends justify the means, therefore I will not blame you for manipulating me. But I have no more time for games, I wanted the truth. I, I, yeah, not really, but yes at the same time. I understand her plight though for her own people, you have willingly misled an inquisitor and, and your sentence should be death. But I must unravel the mystery of this prophecy before judgment is served. Are you willing to cooperate? On one condition. What would that be? You really, really need to survive your next battle. Alright, is that something like... caring for me of some sort? I don't think so though, I think she wants us to be the shield. And the sword against this current effects. Oh yeah! Imperial justice is served, boys. Alright. Collect the ancient prophecy. There we go. I've promised you answers, human. So, you will have your answers. Did you lead me here on purpose? I might have manipulated you to help me take the spirit stone from this scorched pit of despair our planet has become. Yes. Did you lie about everything? The prophecy? The Alpha Pariah? I cannot lie. My role forbids it. Your Inquisitor brother knows that. That's why you were sent here. Clever, clever Mercer. I weave my words too carefully for lies. Enough of this. Do you know the answer to my question or not? There is a place deep within the maze that spreads between the real space and the warp. And in the heart of that living, twisting labyrinth lies the Black Library. You are stalling again. I'm losing patience with you, Eldar. The library is a repository of forbidden knowledge. A vast collection of books still unwritten or lost forever. And I stole the prophecy from its darkest vaults. You had it the entire time? I told you I didn't lie. Take the prophecy. It is yours. I swear that's the last time I deal with the Eldari. Oh boy. Don't swear on the Emperor though. Alright, forced in pain, imprisoned in cold steel, it will come. Interesting. Forced in pain, man. Revered and hated and feared. So she will become holy, she becomes hated and people are afraid of her. Into the domain of the bees with the thousand eyes. The emperor, right? You know, the thousand eyes are the planet. The trail of flame and blood and might. It will be adorned with the crown of emptiness. Into the wound that bleeds nightmares, it will walk. To rule or shape or destroy the labyrinth of no life. The pretentious poem is an Eldari interpretation of the source material. The original fabricator's data is basically a collection of intertwined equations in a more pristine and evolved language. 
the so-called prophecy is only the most superficial layer. The true meaning is hidden in the blessed numbers. Analyzing the data may take decades, but according to my early evaluation, this text may be considered as a pattern blueprint containing gene of a, geneti of a genetic and empyrean formulae. Interesting. Thesis Alpha, the data contained in the Fiskram prophecy correlates with the experiments of Uver knowing the, to, of, uh, the manipulative ways of the Aldari. There is a possibility that the same information was shared with Uver Tiberius millennia ago. These Sinos have an expect of an exceptionally strong connection to the empire of empyrean therefore the alpha pariah entity must be an anathema for them observation alpha the supplementary data embedded in the strings describe the crown of emptiness making it evidently clear that it is a unique and physical object observation omega as a creature of reason i don't believe in oversimplification such as historic repeats itself but here are certain parallels between Uver's early days classified data further references would be unwise and or expedition i rate this as an extremely unsettling observation probably so there we go though gift of the harlequin indeed we did get it It is unusual though, but it is also interesting that we do trust these things from the Eldar instead of being worried that it will corrupt us, right, you know? Uh, like any other race might do. The Tyranids of High Fleet Garm scattered throughout the entire sector, infested as many planets as they could, and countless small uh, diasporas survived the purge only to await a much larger invasion force. Yeah. That's very bad, though. We have what to send do you an make army of this down there. Prophecy, Magos. The tech priest considers it pure Xenox nonsense. My opinion is more nuanced, but I can't see any practical use for it either. You are being too harsh. The prophecy alludes to certain facts that we know are valid. You are willing then to accept the existence of a million-year-old artifact created by a race long extinct that somehow had knowledge of the birth of beings like her. Uther's research was based on ancient Fabricotta's technology. The existence of the Alpha Pariah could easily be the result of this prophecy. In that case, the Pariah needs the artifact to control her powers and fulfill her true potential. Otherwise, she presents grave danger to everyone. Yeah, very true though. Prophecy, the Anathema Ultima. I do like the background here. Do you have a destination for me? I have faced some daunting tasks, but finding an unknown artifact created by a long extinct race sounds impossible. The tech priest has scoured the available inquisitorial archive of classified data troves. Nothing. Luckily, we have an acquaintance who knows his way around the system. Are you referring to Nathaniel Grexus, the resourceful rogue trader captain with a shady past? In his youth, Grexus made a fortune as a trader in Xenos relics. He has abandoned that particular career since then, but he must have kept his contacts. I suppose you might have an idea as to his whereabouts. We have exchanged messages recently. He was on his way to the mining world Arcadus. Then we will follow him. You will surely be glad to see us. Yeah, I'm very sure about that too, huh? Knock knock, Inquisitor here. No one expects the Imperial Inquisition, right? new one man it doesn't matter how many of these i buy there's always more to be bought right you know let's go and buy them all i suppose we have plenty of money to burn still uh, not that many anymore but plenty enough but plenty enough indeed there we go all right and off we are Mining world really over here. Well, that's all coincidental, right? You know, very coincidental. The prophecy provided by the Harlequin refers to a mighty entity that could be capable of sealing the dark nexus and potentially changing the fate of the entire galaxy. 
This entity might be the alpha pariah, but she needs a mysterious fabricator's relic to control her immense power. I found no usable information in the archives on the item uh, in question, but Captain Van Winter suggested a useful acquaintance. They do have an individual, Nathaniel Grexus, a rogue trader with good connections to smugglers of Sinus technology. By the way, let's go for it. I wish we could do a plus four instead of plus five, but... Oh my lord though, huh? Yeah, that's insane, man. Oh my god, we almost take Wow, it's just a 152% more damage increase. So instead of a thousand damage, we serve a thousand uh, 2500. Yeah, fun times. The tech priest has sent out several scryer skulls. We have a hit on Grexus. And what is our old friend doing here exactly? May I hazard a guess? Old Nathaniel Grexus must be quite busy with one of his suspicious deals. This area is a hideout for rebellious deserters. Whatever he is doing here, I will most certainly not approve. Are you willing to face an army of rebels? They will have a chance to show penitence. Yes. <laughs> we have to stay true to our world, right, you know, to our, to our ideals and so on. Yep. Oh, oh. Man, they are tanky though. We are doing way less damage. Let's not forget that. Way less damage. Wow, dude. Just 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 fucking choke, man. Alright, that wow, that sounded very dark, dude. I mean, you know, like on his grenade, right, you know? Nothing else there. Oh grin, big boy. Yeah, look at him. Hmm. Bye bye, big dude. My shotgun is bigger than yours, and them right. It's bigger than yours. We have the pick feed from the scryer skulls. Oh my. Whoa. First, call me a rat again, and I will break your jaw. Secondly, I have no idea what you're talking about. Really? An Imperial agent has landed in the zone. Tell me it was not you. Don't you dare pin this on me, you scoundrel. Snitches like you deserve death. But we can use you as a hostage. Lads, watch this filth while I deal with this mess. Very interesting, man. <sighs> Great. Old Grexus is being, well, himself again. I have no time to lose. So I did forgive the Von Winter clan. And the old boy is doing the old habits again that got them excommunicated. Let's just hope. Well, we already made a mistake, right? By uh, forgiving, what do you call him, right? You know, closer arm, yes! And then, uh, hopefully, right, that one psyker does not curse the entire world, you know? That would be a very bad thing, too. Oh, uh, my lord. And hopefully, Ragna is not going to betray us either because it will be very very bad because that means that most of my judgments has been very very wrong i've been forgiving i've been understanding but this is war hammer it's war hammer time one might say right absolutely it's war hammer time and we shall not forget that okay Man, we do so much damage here, but I believe we do need like four or something. Um, four special missions in a row to unlock something, right? And then we can unlock some more crafting. It just goes a little bit quicker in this way, right? If we suffer a little bit more right now, we have to be a little bit more careful, but not too much, right? As you can see, we still have tons and tons of healing, but it will be worth it, right? You know, in the long run. Well, thank you, though. I mean, it's not that I just walked into it, right, you know? But from winter, I appreciate it, believe me. All right. All right, bye-bye, big boy. I'm so happy with the cooldown reduction, by the way. You cannot imagine, though, right? Alrighty then. 
Come on, big dude. Yeah, maybe the weaker ones first. Maybe, baby, right? Trap rocket. Oh my god, it's a trap, boy. All right, Bogren. Man. All right, big boy. Come on. Don't surround me. There you go. Man, they are hyper tough, right? You really, really are. Oh These no! Surprisingly well equipped for yes. The overseer. My God, they are very, very well equipped indeed. All right. This bleeds. It sounds so evil. I know. A rebellion he screams and now let's take care of the freaking overseer here yeah yeah time for payback huh for what big boy someone didn't smear your nice sandwich or something huh was it a little bit too salty dinner last night okay he's not attacking me because he did run out of ammo we are more tanky than this guy is Oh my god. The shield though, the regenerating shield. Rebel Ancient Elite Armor. <sighs> oh, clue. My understanding is that you and your man formerly served in the Astra Militarium. I must confess that if that is indeed true, you ut uh, your utter lack of discipline is a sad reflection on the current standards of the Imperial military. I harbor no doubts about your loyalty, but as the person financing your company, I will not tolerate delays and disobedience. My work is of paramount importance, yet you waste your resources on petty mischief. You have failed to deliver my shipment in time because you are too busy organizing your illicit prom what? Promethium plant. I trust you will not fail me again or I will make you my new research subject. The Savant. The idiot Savant. All right, Commander Larkit. Interesting. The contacts of Captain Grexus seem to double in Promethium smuggling as well. These rebels have a shadowy benefactor with the moniker The Savant could be an important lead uh, by the way savant is is a word for a genius an idiot savant is someone who is actually a genius with one thing but these rebels keep with everything else not really dubious activities the increasing warp surges tore this sector apart for a very long time fragmenting the largest astromilitar of regiments to separate entities those who will weak they fall in this by the way, some idiot savants were actually labeled wrongly an idiot savant. They were just savants, but all the other skills were just underdeveloped because they had a lack of interest, bad upbringing. You know, there are so many reasons with humans, right? You know, where things go wrong or right. All right. All right, big boy. No, Meg Bundy had a farm. Yeah, And on that farm he runs around like a chicken without a damn head. Whoppa! All right, we can handle a hand of them right now without trouble. Make a double, my boy. All right. Oh, did you see that? There's a massive boss ahead. All right, let's go like this. Now we do have some damage bonuses. Ah, there he is, the rebel sergeant, huh? Oh, no, what is this, though? Did you see that? Hopefully I didn't miss anything. I miss you and the children so much. And my love, I still pray to the Emperor to bring you back to my life soon. Old habits die hard, I guess. I remember my promise, but I can't tell you too much about the current job. Balthasar still reads true for correspondence if he is bored, just like the old days. And there isn't much to tell. Really, I'm mostly on guard duty. This time patrolling an abandoned uh, Promethium field on an Emperor Forsaken dirt ball. Not the most lucrative business, but since Anderson's demise, we still try to keep a low profile. I am still thinking about the colonel a lot. He could be insufferable, but fate handed him terrible cards. 
Stranded on a starving hive vault, cut off by a warp surge, what else could he do? If the commissar had been a bit more open-minded, the whole thing could have been uh, could have ended better. After all, it was an us or them situation. A uh, situation. I know. Let bygones be bygones. The problem is, they are trying to get you with reason, right? The warp search will make it absolutely impossible to travel safe. Like there will be a 99% chance of anyone that is in the vicinity for travel. You know, they will die. It will just be big, big, big trouble there, right? You know? So they are risking a couple of uh, hundred thousands, maybe a mil or two, right? You know? To rescue. A couple of hundred thousands, maybe a mill or two. Right? Or they might even make the enemy stronger. I know, good boys say, well, we have to do that. But in reality, you know, what you really feed an enemy demon force new bodies, you know, that will be put against your loved ones, is a difficult choice to make, right, you know? I mean, the funny thing though is, right, you know, if a rescue mission on planet Earth right now, let's say on a mountain, is deemed too dangerous like on Mount Everest, then you're not doing it either, you know? So, it is not that far-fetched, you know, in other words. Alright, Rocket Boy is down. Ogren and Vorsa! Shotgun Boy, in other words. By the way, if you play uh, Fallout 56 and you do have that beautiful shotgun or a beautiful shotgun get the enforcer perk it is hyper hyper strong it is a really really good man oh my lord caught in the middle of two turrets there we go just focus on this guy and it will just be taken away anyways let's see what do we have here hmm not much, but he's relic smuggling again, right? You know, dealing with chaos forces. Inquisitor, what a sight for sore eyes. Not a remark that I hear often, I must admit. I bet. But you have saved my precious hide again. Praise the Emperor. I had some pressing reasons to seek you out, Rexus. I sense a recurring pattern here, Inquisitor. I'm always glad to help the Imperium. Yeah. By selling things to the enemy? Well, actually, we do need practice targets, right? You know, so our target practice. So, in a certain sense, I kind of believe him, you know? Now, look at this. All right, Inferno Shot, Hermeticon Psalm, Fate 25. Very nice, challenge completed. Kill 10 champions enemies within 120 seconds. Really? At least 4 levels higher. Wow. Alright, that's cool. Complete 2 missions. We already have that one almost, right, you know? Kill 200 enemies within 120 seconds at least... Oh, wow, okay. And fill and hunt. Kill 5 villain enemies without dying. At least on your level. Oh, wait a minute. It directly starts a new one, huh? Purgation focus. Complete two purge missions in a row. Alright, interesting. We might do that. But in the next episode, I suppose. No, maybe, maybe, baby, right? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, we do not have anything here, though. Let's go into the sector view. Hmm, this one is locked. S System 5. Ah, okay. Uh, wait a minute. We are at the... No way. Hmm. Yeah, this is troubling. These are the levels, right? You know? I believe. Alright, here are... Yeah, this is level. Uh, let's go here. I don't think we have the max levels though, right, you know, on our disposal. Gordrick, what do we have here? Perch, yeah, that is a perch over here. Level 30 only, yeah, that's, whoa, population 2 billion and we have to perch this? My lord, though.
Yeah, we do not have access to anything. So that is a shame. That is a big major shame though. Um, but we can do this one in a row, at least four levels higher. And this one complete two missions in a row without dying. And two in a record do by accident and kill five villains enemies. All right. So yeah, you know, that is that at least. So yeah, my dad, I want to thank you all for two. I'm only kidding. We are going to talk to the big guy first. Yep, there we go. So tell me, Inquisitor, how can I assist the Imperium today? I hear that you are an expert on Xenos relics. Oh, well, I have only dabbled in the fine arts, unless you want to transport them unnoticed by Imperial authorities, then I am definitely your man. Let us pretend I didn't hear that. I am trying to locate a unique Xenos artifact. In that case, I might know of someone who could be of help. They call him the Savant. The shadowy figure behind your criminal friends. Who said anything about friends? I was led to believe that they conduct legitimate business. Or misled, rather. That savant, on the other hand, is far from a law-abiding citizen. He, or she, is running an operation dealing in black market Xenos art in the subsector. And where could I find this savant? I have no idea. But I can lead you to the base of those despicable gentlemen you have just obliterated. Righteously, of course. They are business partners now. I hope that your assumption is correct, and I will find information about the Savant's whereabouts there. Yes, indeed. So, by then, I want to thank you all for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful time, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Stay happy, stay healthy, and don't forget to subscribe, though. Bye-bye.